Hello Year 6 and welcome to the Science Department at Burnage. Uh, it's such a shame that we can't actually have you in today to show you around in person. So what we're going to do instead is do a little bit of a virtual talk. My name is Mr Cooper and let's go and have a look around. Okay, welcome and uh, to Burnage Academy for Boys Science Department. My name is Mr Owan and I'm going to show you an experiment called Screaming Jelly Babies. Now before I do the experiment, what I have to do is make sure that I am acting in a safe manner. So, first of all, I've got some protection. I could wear goggles, but I'm going to wear this face protection. And I'm also going to wear some gloves, in this case, to protect my hands. Now, um, when we're doing this experiment, uh, is to see how much energy there is in this packet of jelly babies, in one in particular. Because they contain a lot of sugar, Okay, and that provides you with a lot of energy. But to provide the energy and to provide the oxygen for the reaction, we have a chemical in here called potassium chloride. Now, when I heat this potassium chloride very strongly, okay, it's going to melt, but it's going to provide this reaction with lots of oxygen, and it will help to burn this jelly baby. So, first of all, what I have to do is to heat the potassium chloride. Now at the moment you can see the Bunsen burner, it's sort of got a yellow flame, which is known as a safety flame, but when we use it for heating things strongly, then we have to open the air hole, and that provides us with a stronger flame because we've got more oxygen going into the Bunsen burner. Now, uh, we start heating, and I've got to heat it until the potassium chlorate melts. Once it's melted, I'll put our poor jelly baby into there and see what happens. So, now I'll start heating. And when I'm heating, okay, you'll notice that I'm using this part of the flame because that part of the flame is the hottest. You may be able to see that there's a, a lighter blue section. That is actually cold. Okay, now, um, moving the Bunsen burner around, the gas around, so that I can heat up all the potassium chloride as much as possible. And it's now, hopefully you can see, beginning to melt. And it's now beginning to melt, especially at the bottom where I'm heating quite a lot. I need to move the flame around so I can heat all of the potassium chlorate. Okay, so we're nearly there. I've nearly melted all the potassium chlorate. Okay, you can see that it's changed from a solid to a liquid. And it's getting nice and hot. And now, I'm going to get my jelly baby. And which colour should I use? I think I'll go for a red one. It's really hot, okay, because hot chemicals react faster. And now you can see that the potassium chlorate is now bubbling away very nicely and providing with, the, with lots of oxygen. And
Hi, I'm Miss Shaju, and today we're going to make some elephant's toothpaste. For this experiment, we need hydrogen peroxide, potassium iodide, and some washing up liquid. Okay? So, to safely pour in the hydrogen peroxide, we need to place a funnel into the measuring cylinder. And pouring the washing of liquid into the hydrogen peroxide. And lastly, the potassium iodide. Hi, my name is Mr. Akta and I'm going to be showing you how different elements burn different colours. Now you'll know all about fireworks from firework displays on bonfire night and we're going to have a look at which different elements burn different colours. Now we've got lithium. And we've got copper. Wow, so I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, we certainly did. So we really can't wait to see you guys arriving in September. But until then, it's bye from me. Bye! bye.